What is up, Flash fans? I'm Tommy from ZD Comics, and welcome to my review of Season 1, Episode 4, Going Rogue. Like always, I will start out with my non-spoiler review, and then I'll get into the spoiler review later on in my review, but do not worry, I will give you a warning. So I'm going to start out by saying that this episode was absolutely fantastic, like always. So far in this series, I noticed that every episode has gotten better and better, sort of like what I thought happened in Breaking Bad, and literally I mean that exactly that is a fact i thought every episode in breaking bad from the first episode to the last slightly got better and better and i feel like that's gonna happen in the flash because i noticed a few things i didn't like in the pilot the second episode was really good third episode was amazing fourth episode going rogue absolutely fantastic so get on getting on to you know what happened in this episode it's actually all about captain cold as a villain and what i really like about it is that he's not a metahuman one problem that i was really worried about was that every villain flash would be going up to would be a metahuman that was created by the star lab explosion and that's something that's really not good storytelling but it looks like the rogues of course the rogues are a group of villains not just you know the rogues gallery but the rogues themselves are a group of villains in the flash comics and it looks like they're already going to be created by the Captain Cold who will probably be the leader and he actually at the end of the episode don't want to spoil or anything but he did you know talk to other rogues members that will be later on in the season you probably already know who that person is but I don't want to spoil it for you for those who don't so anyway Captain Cold is basically going to be the leader of the rogues and I thought that his origin and the origin of his gun was absolutely fantastic I was hoping that we could have Captain Cold who has the powers himself and then they could explain that without giving him that metahuman feel but I'm fine with this. I mean, they made his gun super, super OP, and that's exactly what I wanted to see because when you're going up against the Flash, you have to have OP, I mean, you have to be overpowered, and that gun that the Captain Cold is using is awesome. And by the way, Cisco is the one who gave Captain Cold his name. He seems to be the one that giving everyone his name, and I like that. You know, it's like, really, like to explain someone how they got their name, it would have to involve, like, time and everything and I'm not to say that that's not important but I don't mind with Cisco coming up with all the names I mean they're just villains I mean it's not like he's giving Batman the name Batman you know it's not really that important so I'm fine with Cisco getting up the names and he'll probably end up giving himself the name Vibe when he finally does come the Vibe and Cisco's probably one of my favorite characters next to the Flash Grant Gustin of course because he's just a great character I really like him I think he fits well another character who appeared in this episode would be Felicity Smoke now Felicity Smoke has been on our since day one and I have to say she lurks a lot better in the Flash I mean her bright personality and her wittiness just flows so much nicer on the Flash like she has a lot of awkward moments in Arrow that are you know purposely supposed to be awkward but in the Flash they just seem to make sense and I really like that and I just hope that we can see Felicity more in the Flash and honestly I don't mind if they take her out in Arrow I, I think they should just keep Arrow dark there's no need to brighten that up at all you know you already have the Flash now which bringing up Arrow I would like to say that the Flash so far has been better than any Arrow episode I've ever seen. And there's been certain Arrow episodes I really like that probably do top the episodes we've seen so far in The Flash, but I will say that The Flash, right from the beginning, is so much better. I mean, this this show is really going to help CNW. I think it has a really bright future, a brighter future than Arrow does. I mean, if we do end up getting, like, three shows on the CNW, Arrow could be getting canceled. Of course, they wouldn't get blindly canceled. We would obviously probably finish up the five seasons, which would end the flashback storyline. But I do think that The Flash is going to run longer than Arrow ever did. So let's say Arrow goes to, you know, maybe five seasons. I would think The Flash would go to eight or nine. It would even go longer than that. So getting back into the episode, I want to mention one more thing, and that would be the relationship between Iris and Eddie Thawne. And of course, you had to have that CNW relationship type thing. Thing, and you have that with the Flash and Felicity. Now you have it with Iris and Eddie, who both are, you know, one hero, one villain. And I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of, you know, superheroes and relationships. I think it's has to be taken delicately, especially in the TV shows. And Arrows, I absolutely hate. I hate the Felicity and Oliver thing, but Felicity and the Flash. You know, I, I could dig that. You know, I'm fine with that. And Eddie and Iris, that's not bad relationship going on. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, this is just something I really am warming up to. I mean, I don't know if it's just from watching Arrow so much, but I thought that the CNW throwing in their version of, of course, relationship type feels wasn't that bad. I think it was pulled off pretty good. It wasn't overdone, not too much icky stuff and everything, but it stuck close to just feeling like a comic book, and that's what mattered most. So that's going to finish my non-spoiler review. I'm about to get into the spoilers, so if you haven't seen the episode, come back to this part of my review and finish watching. But 
let's get started. So what happens in this episode is Captain Cold starts terrorizing, looking for a diamond. He fails the first time when the Flash stops him, but eventually he gets his gun, which was actually built by Cisco to stop the Flash, which was really good storytelling right there. So basically, when the Flash was in the coma, they found out he had his powers, probably between season one and two, which was like a, I think a three month break in between those two episodes. He probably built this gun because they couldn't really trust you know, Barry right away. They can't be like, oh, this guy's not gonna be like all the other metahumans who tried killing Barry and the whole world and everything like that. For instance, the first guy who thought he was a god. So they couldn't trust Barry at first. So they built this gun and it was really interesting how they explained it. There are really really good at explaining science basically they said that the freeze gun is basically the opposite of the flash it actually stops him from moving because you know everything our particles and everything that the faster they move they heat up and basically when harry runs things catch on fire or for instance lightning and everything so having a freeze gun would do the complete opposite and the freeze gun can trigger absolute zero which is something that's not really realistic yet it's like kind of like a hypothesis where basically when you get so freaking cold everything stops and matter itself just doesn't move because atoms are constantly moving your desk and the atoms inside your desk or even your body are constantly moving so if you were to reach absolute zero you would kind of just there would be nothing left so that's really good storytelling right there and i like how they can make that gun so op and i like how it was created by cisco now there's some trust issues between cisco and barry that's one problem i had but let's get on to the ending of this episode which would be the captain cold kind of freezing a train and everything and it was awesome captain cold's weakness that he saw in barry was that he always had to save people so he used that against him by freezing the train gotta say the outstanding visuals in this like, episode and pretty much the whole series so far i mean it looked awesome that final battle scene on the train where the flash barry allen was literally running through the train saving people as it was flipping over picking up little ice particles and like glass that was breaking it was like absolutely outstanding and i think that cnw put a lot of money into that because the cgi and everything you see in this episode and pretty much the whole series is awesome i mean the graphics and the visuals of the flash running is outstanding i'm really really kissing up to this tv show right now but i'm sorry it's just this episode was so good so anyway the final thing which is the only thing i didn't like was like how captain cold froze a flash when he wasn't looking after he saved everybody basically he was frozen right in the chest right across his arm so like i said it really hurts someone and the flash it really hurts him he can't really move so he's stuck on the ground cisco comes in to save the day because he felt responsible you know for creating the gun and everything to basically stop captain cold who he does say his name captain cold smiles and everything but anyway he's about to stop him and he basically lets him go i'm like why would you let him go that easily i mean i know you stopped him from trying to kill barry but like you just like you just walked away like you just let him walk away why didn't you act more superhero like and say no stop it drop the gun like i have you cornered and of course what he was actually holding was just a vacuum machine not a prototype of the actual freeze gun which was funny and it's kind of you know relaxing and everything but i gotta say this episode was really good the only problem of course would be that they just literally left captain cold to go i'm happy of that because at the end of the episode we see him kind of recruit heat wave onto the rogues gallery my guess is that we're going to be seeing heat wave captain cold gorilla grod mirror master or possibly one more other person in the rogues gallery like five people they could possibly possibly be the season final you know i'm kind of expecting that and of course you have the reverse flash who doesn't really work with the rogues but might join that team i don't really i, I don't think he'll do it but of course it is a possibility so anyway what is your review on the flash season four going rogue i can't wait to hear it don't forget to comment right now on it and also don't forget to like this video it really helps out my channel and if you want me to review other people like for instance arrow and like walking dead constantine shows like that click that like button and subscribe anyway i'm tommy from zandy comics and i want you to have a great day ready aim fire